Hello, my name is Krechun Alexandru and I'm an executive chef based in London with 15 years of experience in Michelin star restaurants in London, in UK and all over the world as well. For today, for the recipe today, we picked uh, pan roasted using Japanese Wagyu. You may think Japanese Wagyu is for dining out or is for special occasion, but can be enjoyed at home without special ingredients or special tools. So Japanese Wagyu can be enjoyed in a small portions. You don't really need to have a, a large portion just because the, the richness, what what the beef filet and as well other cuts have is just really, really intense. I will use four or five different types of veg today. I will use some uh, purple carrots, some, uh, some all rainbow carrots. I really like the sweetness from the carrots and I think it uh, goes really well with the, with the Japanese Wagyu. We will use some Jerusalem artichokes. We have some bitter leaves, which we're gonna make a salad with it. So very important carrots is quite easy olive oil tiny bit of olive oil all over pinch of salt really important garlic very simple rub them up I rub them individually so Jerusalem artichoke next we have some uh, onion squash petit marron is a, a pumpkin put it in the oven 35 35 to 40 minutes um, at 170, 170, 175 degrees. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I really love the aroma. What comes out from Wagyu beef when it hits the pan is something really special. Something very simple, you don't really need to complicate it. Salt and pepper, for me, I think is, is more than enough. Just make sure you give it enough on both sides. To have, um, try to have, obviously, try to have it outside for a for a half an hour to make sure you get the right amount of, uh, of temperature inside. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of olive oil on the steak. I don't gonna put olive oil on the, on the pan. This is gonna take probably around 15 minutes from the top to bottom. It's gonna go a couple of minutes in the pan and then it's gonna go in the oven for three, four minutes. I will get this inside the pan. Sizzling pan is really important. Medium to high fire, just make sure make sure it gets a nice crust on it and try to move it to get just because if you keep it on one side, that means that side is gonna get cold. If you move it on the other side, that's get hot again. So just try to move it a tiny bit around, try to don't press on it. This is what you're looking for, a nice beautiful crust just to seal everything inside and just to have a nice texture. So this one, this one we're gonna cut it after we take it off the oven. It's gonna have a nice, beautiful uh, little crunch to it. So it's gonna be delicious. And I think we're ready with this. We're gonna take it and put it in the oven. Quite easy and simple. This is gonna go in the oven 170, 180 degrees for about five, five to six minutes. And then we're gonna rest it for another five to six minutes to make sure it's all like nice, perfect. Our vegetables, uh, our vegetables are ready. And Wagyu beef is ready as well. So we're gonna take this out. Leave it to rest. So it just has a nice, beautiful, firm texture. You can really feel it, really nice. So back to our potatoes. The steak is gonna rest for around five minutes. By that time, we're gonna make our vegetables. Cut the potatoes in two, make it all by size. Carrots. Jerusalem artichoke, I really love this vegetable. I think it's something what is never used enough in our kitchen. We cut this uh, by size. The pumpkin, carrot. For our salad, we're gonna add some uh, walnuts. We're gonna add some beautiful blood orange segments. So the beautiful dressing we just made. Shave some of the Parmesan. Put a couple of shavings into the salad. Mix it. Spread the vegetables around the plate. Steak is probably around 200 grams, so we'll try to... 200 grams is more than enough for two people, so we're gonna share this. I'm gonna try to make the steak by sides as well, just to make sure we are, it's easy to eat. 
and the aroma what comes in from it is just like unique to Wagyu beef. It's just like so satisfying to just see how how the the beef cooks and just all the juices come out. It's just like really, really something something special. We cook this on a medium side, so it's really the fat is just melted a tiny bit, so it has a nice, beautiful, uh, beautiful texture. And that's the reason I say it's a very simple dish to do at home. It's just really a couple of elements. The beef, you cook it. If you want it well done, you can cook it a bit longer. If you want it less, you cook it less. I just really think enjoying the beef is, uh, is a really interesting way to, uh, to feel the aroma and to feel the, the fat melting into the, into the muscle of the beef, which is really something special. That's the reason I love so much Japanese Wagyu. So now to the best part of it, the tasting. You can see the color is just like, comes through really, really amazing pinkish color. The fat is already melting in your mouth. It's really delicious, delicious flavor from the fat. It's just like incredible. It has a bit of texture, but it's like, after you bite into it, it's, it's just melting in your mouth. The citrus, I think it has a really, really nice contrast with the richness. And that's the reason I think you don't need to have a lot of it because it's, it's a pack of flavor. Every single bite what you have is just like, just explode in your mouth with, with flavor. If you want to learn more about Japanese Wagyu, head over to our website below, which is full of information about Japanese Wagyu, such as partners restaurants, butchers, and the e-commerce destination where you can purchase your Japanese Wagyu. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching. Really enjoying cooking this recipe. I hope you're gonna give it a go at home. Uh, thank you very much and enjoy eating Japanese Wagyu.